starting lineups. For the Brockton Boxers, senior goalkeeper George Teratakis. Junior goalkeeper Brandon Deleuze. Senior goalkeeper Vinicius Neves. Senior defender Mario Dos Santos. Senior captain Luis Spinola. Senior Christian Santos. Senior Lucas Fernandez. Junior Kevin Barbosa. Junior Van Elton Xavier. Junior Ehim Neblet. Senior Danny Resende. Senior Captain Eric Brito. Senior Jalen DeRosa. Senior Giovanni Martins. Junior Junior Xavier. Sophomore Jeremias Rosa. Junior Sergio De Silva. Senior Wilson Lobo. Senior Benny Ribeiro. Senior Belvic Silva. Senior Henry Mateo. Captain Senior Derek Brito. Junior Jaden Tapina. Freshman Walter Fernandez. And junior Shu Urase. Brockton's coached by Herminio Furtado, Connor Fitzgerald, Ryan Clifford. Now for Zaverian High School. <clears throat> Senior Lorenzo Mancini. Senior Lars Forsgren. Senior Jack Dinatelli. Senior Adam Driscoll. Senior Brian Lynch. Senior Matteo Marino. Senior Evan C. Senior Michael Mazoka. Senior Thomas Rodia. Senior Joe Jacob. Senior Sean Green. Junior Julian Diaz. Junior Liam Foley. Junior Peter Papavazilo. Junior Chris Francis. Junior Thomas Stavada. Junior Dean Sherman. Junior Nick Maggio. Junior Justice Kiampa. Sophomore Finn Mongolvin. Sophomore Andrew Xavier. Sophomore Peter Murphy. 
Freshman, Brendan Murphy. And junior, Matthew McGrath. At this time, if we could all stand and remove our hats and pay attention to the national anthem, please. Gentlemen, boys and girls, soccer fans of all ages, this is Plymouth North High School. And today it plays host to the MIAA South Sectional Division I semifinal. The two teams competing, the third seeded Brockton Boxers and the second seeded Severian Hawks. As always, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the turf here in beautiful 399 year old Plymouth, Massachusetts. It is cold, it's gonna be 20 degrees when this game kicks off with a slight sea breeze coming in from left to right across your screen. The Severian Hawks wearing their home navy blue jerseys, navy blue shorts with black trim around the gold lettering and numbers, the Brockton Boxers. And they're visiting white kits, their white shirts, white shorts with black trim around the red numbers. These two teams tied in Win percentage, both with a .722. Severian having 11 wins, three losses, and four draws. The Boxers at 13 wins and five losses, no draws. Winner of this game will go on to face the winner of the Silver Lake Lakers and Needham Rockets game. That game happening directly after the conclusion of this game. And that would be for the right to go to the South sectional final. That game would be potentially Saturday at 2.30 p.m. in Hingham. If the boxers are victorious here tonight, we will have it for you on Brockton Community Access. So it is the top four seeds left in this South sectional Division I bracket. Needham being the top seed with a record of 13, three and three. Silver Lake rounding out the top four with an overall record of 12 and five. For the boxers, it is George Cheritakis in net. He replaced injured Vinicius Neves earlier in the season and the last game that the boxers played, it was number nine, Vanilton Xavier, the junior forward getting carted off in the second half, he was taken out of the stadium in an ambulance. He is in the lineup tonight, lining up on the bottom of your screen right at the 50 yard line. Severian starting off with possession. Brockton immediately taking that. It is Luis Spinola on the inside. Now it's off to Jalen DeRosa. Back to Spinola. We're going by the white lines here on the Plymouth North High School, home of the Eagles, as you can see in the Two football end zones. Cheritakis to the far side. All right, I believe is number 19, Benny Ribeiro. Just 
Spinola with it. He quickly pops it. And with it now is number 10, Jaheim Neblet. All the way back to Cheritakis. Of course, the three ref system now that we are in the sectional semifinals. They are wearing the bright green referee shirts. Number 22, Derek Brito, the co-captain in the middle. Now Spinola with a little bit of room to work with. He's trying to get edged off. Now the cross, a shot. Oh, what a save by the goaltender of Severian. That's number one, Thomas Rodia. The senior out of Walpole punching it up off the crossbar and out of play. It'll be a corner kick from the far side for the Brockton Boxers who have started off with quite the loud opportunity just a minute and 15 seconds into half number one. Be Eric Brito taking it from the far corner. His low kick curving outward, it pops up and out of play. It'll be a goal kick as it was deflected out off of the boxers. Boxers have some bad memories, of course, last year here at Plymouth North High School getting defeated in extra time to the BC High Eagles. This is number 10, Jaheim Neblet, trying to chase it down. He does that, but Severian pops it out of play. Throw in for the boxers on the far side at the 20-yard line of the football markings. Beautiful complex here at Plymouth North High School. Of course, the town of Plymouth getting ready for the 400th anniversary of the Pilgrims Landing. That is next year, and here's Severian on an opportunity. It's number nine in alone. He gets edged off. That is Julian Diaz, the junior midfielder from Milton. And Severian's going to have a throw in in front of the Brockton bench. Taking it is number 11, Brian Lynch, the senior co captain. It's going to be a huge celebration next year in the town of Plymouth. I've been privy to some of the plans. We're talking parades, parties. It's a year-long celebration of the landing of the Pilgrims and what many people regard as the founding of the United States of America. We've got Plymouth Plantation right down the road. Plymouth Rock. Brockton throwing. Nice long throw almost into the box. Another Brockton throwing. We go by the yellow lines on the field. Was Vanilton Xavier unable to get his head on it? And Lucas Fernandez, the cross to, I think it's Vanilton Xavier scrapping for it. Severian comes away with it, sending it all the way up. It's number 17 chasing it down for the boxers. That's Sergio De Silva. And that is not a good call by the official. As stepping on the ball was one of the Hawks, tripping over it. And the ref whistled it down for a foul against the boxers. So a free kick from about 40 yards out from net. For Severian now, just over five minutes into the first half. The direct kick is trouble punched up by Cheritakis. Up and over the crossbar. It'll be a corner kick for the Hawks. Good strategy there for Severian. And Cheritakis able to read it perfectly and double fist it up. And out of play. So number 17 taking the corner kick. That is 
Liam Foley, the junior out of Rentham. His kick low and deflected out of immediate danger. Now a long shot is hugged by Cheritakis, who has it safely in his grasp. 34-10 to go in the first half. Action picking up nicely between these two rivals. Rivals really in all sports, the Severian Hawks and the Brockton Boxers, of course, a couple, about a month ago now. The Brockton Boxers traveling to Severian High School in Westwood. The football team getting the 800th win in program history. The only thing that could have been sweeter than winning it at Severian would be winning it at Everett, which was the week before. Of course, those two schools playing in tons of Super Bowls, Everett and Brockton, that is. Severian has become a powerhouse in the last 20 years. This shot by Jalen DeRosa is wide to the left by about five feet. Goal kick is going to be taken by number 14, Peter Papavasalu, junior out of Westwood. This is Brito sending it up and headed back out by Severian, number two, popping it forward. That, of course, is Dean Sherman. Boxes with the latest wave of pressure. Severian had a couple of good opportunities. Brockton opened the opportunities early in this first half with a nice shot about a minute and 15 in. Now Spinola unable to get around a couple of Hawks. They send it forward where it is taken. Junior Xavier for the Boxers. Now it's DeRosa in the middle to Eric Brito. Brito back to number 17, Sergio De Silva. Junior Xavier, boxers work in the back line now, eight minutes into the first half. Still scoreless in the MIAA South semifinal between the Severian Hawks and your Brockton boxers. Brockton begging for the call on the far side was number, I think it was 17, Sergio De Silva on the far side. That's Eric Brito across the 50 to Luis Spinola. This one crossed to no Severian Hawk in the area. Xavier will take it for Brockton. It's Lucas Fernandez, the defender on the far side for Brockton. Severian calling for the shot, the fan base at least. They get it and Cheritakis dives on it for the stop. Exactly nine minutes in. Both teams traveling pretty well down route three to Plymouth. A little bit of an odd man, Lucas Fernandez able to take possession, send it back to Cheritakis. Back to Fernandez. Into the middle now, it's Derek Brito. Sergio De Silva up the sideline to Luis Spinola. Spinola back to Brito back to De Silva and all the way back as the boxers are trying to figure out a game plan and create some space through the middle of the field. Jalen DeRosa, he'll send it back to Lucas Fernandez on the far side. Brockton playing a smart game of keep away. They turn it over to the Severian Hawks, however, in front of the Brockton bench. It was number 10 stealing that one away. It's Lorenzo Mancini, the senior out of Franklin. Yeah, 
Well, to get here, the Brockton Boxers, speaking of Franklin, defeating the Panthers last Thursday night at Brockton High School, a two to one final score on that one. Severian beating another Brockton rival, the New Bedford Whalers, by a score of two nil. To get here to the semifinals in the first round, Severian beating 15th seed BC High, their Catholic Conference rival. The shot goes wide to the right. Two to one, the final score in that one, and Brockton in double extra time over Braintree, one nothing. Of course, the warnings have gone around not to say the O word. Certain somebody said it last year. Not only did the game before Brockton on this field go into the dreaded O word, double O word. But the Brockton game against BC High then went into the double O word as well. Where the boxers unfortunately fell to the Eagles, ending their hopes of a state championship repeat. Boxers hoping to make another lengthy playoff push this year. Jalen DeRosa in the middle, sending it up through the middle, trying to find number 10, Jaheim Neblet, unsuccessful in that effort. A whistle, a stoppage, and a free kick for Brockton. Quick restart to Luis Spinola. Severian caught off guard a little bit. Spinola sending it over the top. Severian heading it back out. It is number 20 with it now. That is Evan Seep, who sends it long all the way back to Lucas Fernandez at the Brockton 23 yard line. Speaking of Catholic Conference, the Boxers football team will be on Morrissey Boulevard tomorrow night to face the Eagles of BC High in a consolation game, we'll call it. A meaningless football game after both teams were eliminated from playoff contention. De Silva a little bit too much mustard on it for Luis Spinola. Out of play, throw in for the Hawks. Spinola sending it out. A couple of boxers waving their arm to signify that it is indeed a Brockton throw in. Spinola still unsure that the ref whistled at a Brockton throw in. He did indeed. Sergio De Silva with the throw in. It bounces to Jaheim Neblet. Now it's Derek Brito. Give and go out of play. Too far ahead for Brito off the pass. Uh, Severian substitution is going to come in. They'll say whistle. Coming out is going to be Lorenzo Mancini. And coming in is number 19 in navy blue. That is Chris Francis, the junior out of Millis. Derek Brito pushed from behind. He gets the call against number 21. That's Finn Mongovin, the sophomore out of Wellesley. Part of the unfairness of the Catholic Conference is that they are able to recruit from all over the state. That's why they have towns listed on their roster, and a lot of them at that. For the first time in recent history, I'm not noticing any names from Brockton on the Severian roster. That is always a point of contention, especially for football. Severian's starting quarterback a couple of years ago on the football team hailed from the City of Champions. Here's number 15 in the middle of the field. That is Junior Xavier. Fernandez oversteps it. It's going to be a Brockton throw in. Nice shielding job by Fernandez on the far side. Spinning and sputtering up to Jaheim Neblet. 
One touch to Spinola in the middle, trying to create some space and fire off a quick shot. He gets tripped up, no call. He's still on the ground trying to milk the call. Now Neblet up, trying to find the corner. The cross looks good over the head of an Elton Xavier who was called for a dangerous play. Free kick that looks like a goal kick. Here's number 21, Finn Mongovan, taken by Xavier to the far side now. About 17 minutes into the first half, still scoreless, a fiercely contested battle to this point between these two longtime rivals, the Severian Hawks, the Brockton Boxers, Luis Spinola charging the middle of the field to get possession of this one. Now it's Derek Brito with a lot of open space in the middle, sending it up for Jaheim Neblet. Now Spinola in the middle. Spinola trying to force it to Neblet, unsuccessful. His tackle is good, no whistle on the play. Nice clean slide tackle for Luis Spinola. Now it's Junior Xavier over to Lucas Fernandez. The boxers with a couple of opportunities so far in this game. Jaheim Neblet over to Jalen DeRosa, the longtime varsity member of this squad. Let's get Derek Brito in the middle. He finds him. Now Brito taps it over to Kevin Barbosa, the offensive scoring threat. Long over the top. Severian's not going to win this one. George Cheritakis picks it up and quickly throws it over to Sergio De Silva on the near sideline. Brockton with it in the middle of the field. Jalen DeRosa now, kick for the Severian Hawks from the 44 yard line. DeRosa can't corral it in the middle of the field. It's number seven, Lars Forsgren, senior out of Wellesley. Now Van Elton Xavier got it up high on his shoulder. No handball call. Now Kevin Barbosa has his jersey tugged in the middle, no call. Still with possession is Barbosa back and now up to Jaheim Neblet. Neblet back to Barbosa. Finilton Xavier in the middle was covered by four Hawks in the middle. And it's going to be a Hawk throw-in. We're at the halfway mark of the first half. Still scoreless between the Severian Hawks and the Brockton Boxers. Barbosa with the high kick in the middle. Nicely done by Derek Brito. He was taken down and earns the call against the Severian Hawks. Number seven kicking it away. It might earn a conversation. It's gonna be spotted at the 45 yard line of the football markings. And they're gonna move it back to about the 46 and a half. 
first down. Boxers. Lucas Fernandez on the opposite side from where he's playing and a nice pick by the goalkeeper of Severian Thomas Rodia. High kick, deep, about 60 yard kick for Rodia. Still a little bit of a sea breeze, not nearly as bad as last year when the boxers traveled here to Plymouth North High School. This sea breeze has a refreshing feel to it. Of course, this is beach weather compared to what it was two days ago. Junior Xavier across to Lucas Fernandez back on the far side of the field. Chris Francis, the junior out of Millis. This one chinned down now, headed up by Lorenzo Mancini. A little bit of trouble for the boxers. Mancini trying to chase it down. And Severian's passing game doesn't connect. Unable to chase it down was Chris Francis. And a throw in for the boxers. There's a substitution, number 17 coming off of the pitch. That's Sergio De Silva, he's taking a long route around. Coming in is Eric Brito. Junior tri-captain for the boxers. His brother Derek, also a tri-captain. Back over to Eric. Back to Lucas Fernandez as the boxers shift sides. Fernandez now playing near side defender. He started off the first quarter of this game as the far side defender. Uh, it was of course with De Silva in the game. And it's Eric Brito. Eric with a lot of space to work with. Sending it up over the top and finding Jaheim Neblin at least momentarily. Now a free kick for the boxers. It was called by an official that was about 40 yards away from the play. Well, all right, the boxers are going to have a good opportunity here from about, we'll call it 35, 36 yards out from net. Looks like Luis Spinola will be taking it. Uh, he's going to back off and let Lucas Fernandez do the honors. Fernandez from the 28-yard line of the football markings might go direct on net here. He does just that, and it's too high and wide to the left. one too far. Sending it over the top is Kiratakis is going to grab it. Boxers getting back to their to attack short European style game of passing. No more than one or two touches for a player on each possession. That's Mancini turning it over to Derek Brito in the middle now. Turning the corner, getting it to Spinola. He sends it back to Eric Brito. 15 minutes to go in half number one, still scoreless. A little mental mistake there by number 22 of the Hawks. That's Andrew Xavier, the sophomore of Westwood. It'll be a throw in for the boxers deep in Hawk territory. Jalen DeRosa to do the honors for Emilio Furtado's boxers. 
Long throw into the box. Could be trouble if the boxers head it correctly. They don't, but it bounces right back to DeRosa. He edges off his defender. He's going to get called for a push and rightfully asking what the call is. And now having some words with the official. It'll be a free kick taken by number 14. That's Peter Papavasilou. Boxers, Derek Brito with a hard fought play. minutes to go in half number one, a fiercely contested battle to this point between these two longtime rivals. Eric Brito all the way across to that's number 15, Junior Xavier. All the way up off the mark. Looking for Milton on the far side, doesn't connect. Finding it was Vanilton on the far side. Uh, unable to do anything with it. Now it's Kevin Barbosa chipping it up to Vanilton now in the corner. His cross didn't get as much as he wanted to on it, and Severian clears it out and into the woods on the far side. It's left in the in the first half, still scoreless. Jalen Tarosa with a nice defensive play. The refs letting a lot slide here. Off the post from about 25 yards out. It was number 21 launching the shot. That's Finn McGovern right in the middle. Charitakis was beat dead to rights in the middle of his net, and it hit the crossbar and bounced out. Six for the boxers, that's Christian Santos. He's fresh into the game as this one's picked up by Rodia. And he holds on for the reset. Couple of guys left on this boxers team that won that state championship a couple of seasons ago. The only two teams remaining in the South Sectional Division I bracket a couple years ago. Brockton took down on their way to the state title. The Needham Rockets. The Needham Rockets in the Silver Lake Lakers. Look 
to take this opportunity to remind the viewing audience and a certain cameraman that the fifth seeded Weymouth Wildcats at 11, four and three were defeated by Silver Lake two to one in penalty kicks. Fernandez with the free kick with 8.40 to go now in the first half. Spinola trying to spin with it. He gets the cross off. That's a handball that's not going to be called. Brockton's crowd sees it. Santos launches one into the box. And now this one off of the side of the head of Santos and up back across midfield where Lewis, uh, Lucas Fernandez, excuse me, able to recover, but he sends it out of play. And Foley throwing it in for the Hawks. And I believe an elbow is gonna be called on number 21 and he's going to get a talking to as he kicked that ball back. The ref saying, let us handle it, not you. That is directed towards number 21, Finn McGovern, the sophomore out of Wellesley. Now, this game getting a little bit chippy and we have a Hawk that's slow to get up. It's number 19, it looks like, Chris Francis. Free kick Severian. 7.20 to go in the first half. It's getting a little spicy on the pitch at the moment. And we get a timeout called. I think it's going to be called against, uh, called by Brockton. With seven minutes to go. Hey, stop the clock! Stop the clock! Clock stops with circa seven minutes to go. It's a timeout on the field with seven minutes to go on the first half, still scoreless between the Severian Hawks and the Brockton Boxers in the MIAA South Sectional Division I semifinal from Plymouth North High School. We're going to step aside, take a breather, and bring you the remainder of the first half right after this. him on the same wavelength, mentally. Good, he'll fit in perfectly. Go way over there. Back underway here at Plymouth North High School. Seven minutes to go in the first half between the Severian Hawks and your Brockton Boxers. Once again, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action high above the turf here in beautiful 399 year old Plymouth, Massachusetts. Plymouth showing its age very well. across the 50 up to Lewis Spinola. Spinola didn't get all of it and get clean possession. Severian sending it out of play. That was number two. Putting it out. Hey, 
it. That's Dean Sherman who put it out of play. The throw in for Jalen DeRosa. Nice throw into the box. It bounces a couple of times and just trickles out of play. It is going to be a corner kick. A couple dozen referees sitting in the bleachers might have helped milk that call for the Brockton boxers. Number 11 is going to take it. That is Danny Resende. From the near side corner, he's going to curve it inward. His kick. Back heel from Spinola back to Resendi, who can't get possession of it. It trickles out of play over the end line. It will turn into a goal kick for the Hawks now, approaching five minutes to go in the half. Spinola in the middle, he might have taken an elbow to the chin. He kind of got up a little bit woozy there. Now for Nelton Xavier, who is showing a remarkable recovery after getting carted off and taking a, an ambulance ride across Brockton after the last game. This one is trouble loose, and Rodia is able to dive on it after initially losing possession. going to stay in play. It's number 21, Finn McGovern. Now fair play ruled as Jalen DeRosa had his jersey tugged but gained possession of the ball in doing so. Four minutes to go now in the first half, still scoreless. The two goalkeepers have been the stars of the show so far. It is Rodia for the Hawks and George Cheritakis for the blocking boxers tested a couple times and making some spectacular saves. Now Eric Brito taken down, no call. It finds its way out of play and it's going to be a goal kick for the Hawks. Chris Santos with it, sending it up. It's headed back by one of the Hawks, Kevin Barbosa, fighting for it in the middle. Luis Spinola with it. He might try to send one in from afar here. He instead gets it up to Kevin Barbosa. Barbosa out to number 10. That's number 10 of the boxers, Jaheim Neblet. Neblet with it, he's getting assaulted. Spinola's shot. Bounces in on Rodia, who makes the save with two and a half minutes to go in half number one. Barbosa to Vanilton Xavier. That's Spinola, who has shifted from front mid to full forward here. Some fancy footwork, tripping up one of the Hawks, no call. Now Spinola getting up and he was looking for a call and a free kick for the Boxers. It'll be a throw in for the Hawks with two minutes to go. Official time will be kept on the field as Severian makes a substitution. Only about a minute and 45 seconds left in half number one. Go, 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 go. 
Probably about a minute left here in the first half. Jalen DeRosa with another throw in from deep in Severian territory. This one's gonna be sent towards the middle where Junior Xavier sends it up to Christian Santos. Santos popping it over to DeRosa. Who's starting and stopping now Eric Brito on the sideline. And it's gonna be a throw in for Brockton. Moving up about five yards to so get it to Lewis Spinola. We have another throw in for DeRosa as time is winding down here in the first half. Brockton looking to get on the board late in the first frame. This one headed down and out. Santos has it. He turns around. And now set back to Lucas Fernandez close to midfield. He's trying to get around number 21, Finn McGovern. The whistles blow and the first half has come to an end. An action-packed first half, I might add. We are scoreless between longtime rivals Severian Hawks and the Brockton Boxers in the Division I MIAA South Sectional Semifinal here at Plymouth North High School. We're going to step aside, take a short break, and bring you second half action right after this. We just finished dinner and it was time for homework. He hates homework. It makes no sense. I don't know how he finds anything in his backpack. I can't find my backpack. I couldn't even read his handwriting. Holding the pencil makes my hand hurt. I know he's bright. Why is it so hard for me? He's I'm just trying try as hard a little as I harder. can. When you can see learning and attention issues from their side, you can be on their side. Go to understood.org, a free online resource with support and tools to help your child thrive. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Getting that college education. What are you going to do? Graduate and take some office job? Be like everybody else. Or will you dare do something different? Like be a teacher. You could be my teacher. You got the skills. The smarts. Yes, you. You could be the teacher I never forget. That would be cool. Does that corporate job even have recess? What are you going to make of yourself? What are you going to make of me? Get caught buzz driving, and you could do some hard time. Craig, knock it off. Sorry, Mom. It could cost you around $10,000 in fines, legal fees, and increased insurance rates. And that could set you back a few years. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. Morning. Hope you all had a good weekend and are ready to be inspired. One quick thing I want to remind you guys to be studying. Major key alert. Did you just look at your phone while you was in class? You played yourself. Class, today we're talking about inspirational quotes. You want to get that paper? You better turn in that paper and get an A+. Plus. That's a major key. Another one. Another. Mogul talk. You want to reach the mountaintop? You got to go hard. To succeed, you have to believe. Stay focused, fly higher than the eagle. Don't ever play yourself. The key is to make it, so make it. Louise, Louise, can you give me an example of an inspirational quote from recent history? Don't play yourself. The key is to make it. And who said that? I did. Now that's a major key alert. Learn the real major keys to getting to college at getschool.com. Well, we apologize for some technical difficulties here at Plymouth North High School, but we take you directly from the end of the first half in a classic battle between the Severian Hawks and the Brockton Boxers, straight into a 10 minute overtime period. The second half, it was very evenly matched. The two teams going haymaker for haymaker, shot for shot and scoring opportunity for scoring opportunity. We remain at zero, headed into an extra frame. The Severian Hawks wearing their home navy blue jerseys, navy blue shorts with 
gold numbers and lettering. The Brockton Boxers in their home. Uh, they're visiting, excuse me, all white kits with red trim around the black numbers and lettering. I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson bringing you all the action from a beautiful, frigid Plymouth, Massachusetts. The town doesn't look bad for 399 years old. And neither does the athletic complex here at Plymouth North High School. The Brockton Boxers have been led by senior goalkeeper George Cheritakis on the other side. It has been Thomas Rodia, the senior from Walpole. And those two names are the reason we are currently in a sudden death overtime. Jalen DeRosa. Milton Xavier in the middle, creating space. Trying to force it through about five Severian Hawks, unsuccessful in that effort. But Brockton remains with possession. The long shot by Vinilton Xavier deflects off, and this one is going to stay inbounds, at least momentarily. It's going to be Jalen DeRosa carrying it out of play. Good work there by Evan Seep, who's back into the game. He played about half of the second half of action. Joe Martins has had a lot of scoring opportunities, as has Vinilton Xavier and Luis Spinola, Kevin Barbosa turning it on in the last couple of minutes as well. Jaheim Neblet back into the game. He did not play in that second half. And here is Lorenzo Mancini, number 10 in Navy for the Hawks. Over to Finn McGovern. Jaheim Neblet. Sent over the top. George Cheritakis is going to charge out to prevent Lars Forsgren from picking it up. Eight minutes to go in the first overtime period. Giovanni Martins in the middle, trying to get it to the inside, and it's going to be a little bit too far for Jaheim Neblin. Whistle it down and call it off sides. Not even better for Brockton. It looks like they're going to have a free kick from directly in front of the net from about 35, we'll call it 33 yards out. Lucas Fernandez taking it for the boxers. His shot directly through the football uprights. The field goal is good and we reset. Martins all the way through. Here's Benilton Xavier with a lot of room. Xavier to the corner, a little bit too far ahead. Brockton crowd shouting at Benilton Xavier. You got to shoot it. Headed down nicely by Mario Dos Santos, who was in for the injured Danny Resende, who has not been seen for much of the second half and yet to be seen in the overtime. He was run into in a spicy couple of minutes in early in that second half when things got very chippy on the field. Into a 
in their own territory. Five minutes to go in the overtime period. Ball coming from Lars Forsgren. Samarian substitution coming in, thus the whistle. Number 20 coming out, that is Evan Seep. It's Jack Dinatale coming back in. And over the head of Junior Xavier. Uh, Blake will kick for Brockton, four and a half to go in the extra frame. Xavier heading it forward a little bit off the mark. It was headed back by number two. That's Dean Sherman. Scoreless zero to zero between the Severian Hawks and your Brockton Boxers. In overtime here in the MIAA South Sectional Division I semifinal. Winner of this goes on to face the winner of the Needham Rockets and the Silver Lake Lakers. That game happening at the conclusion of this one here at Plymouth North High School. That game would be in the South Sectional Final for the right to go to the state tournament. Junior Xavier up for Jalen DeRosa. He goes across. A perfect line for Eric Brito. His send into the box. Could be trouble to him. Neblet can't get a shot off. Out of play, throwing for the boxers, Mario Dos Santos. Is going to defer to Jalen DeRosa, who's got quite the set of arms on him. He can throw it about 20, 25 yards. There he goes, right into the box, looking for Vinilton Xavier. And popped out of play, we'll do it again about five yards south. backing all the way up onto the track. His throw deep into the box. Loose, headed by Brockton and then Severian. Now give and go and Brodia able to pick it up off of Bonson. Ball that was off of about seven heads in a row. And we have reached two minutes and 25 seconds left in the overtime period. He Neblin in the middle of the field. Up to Mario Dos Santos on the near sideline. Back to Jalen DeRosa towards the middle of the field. Now Spinola on the far side can't get to it. Eric Brito able to recover in front of the Brockton bench. His long shot, Vinilton Xavier. It's loose, and the boxer score! And have won it in sudden death overtime! The boxer crowd goes crazy. It was Eric Brito sending it in from in front of the Brockton bench. Vinilton Xavier was on the far post. And the boxers were gonna advance to the South sectional final against the winner of the Needham Rockets and the Silver Lake Lakers. The goal coming at the two minute mark of the overtime period. And the Severian Hawks have been eliminated from playoff contention. Eric Brito on the game-winning assist from in front of the Brockton bench, about 30 yards out from net, he found Vanilton Xavier. The only goal of the game is the winner, and it came for the Brockton Boxers. They will play Saturday at 2.30 in the afternoon at Hingham High School, again against the winner of the Needham Rockets and the Silver Lake Lakers in the south sectional final for the right to go to the state tournament the boxers that would be three state tournaments in the last four years and it was eric brito setting it up his perfect send into the box Vanilton xavier with the game winner two minutes to go in sudden death overtime the boxers moving on to the south sectional final 
Saturday afternoon at Hingham High School for everyone here at BCA Sports. We want to thank you for watching this production of BCA Sports. We'll see you Saturday at Hingham High School for the South Sectional Final. Our camera crew, Phil Philippides, Emma Reardon, I'm Mad Dog Matt Nelson, and we will see you next game. Thank you.